Here we have a lovely map of western Aroostook County. We have the central hardwood ridges in Aroostook, and we have a scale bar with divisions five miles in length and subdivisions one mile in length. This has been modified from the default, and I will show you how. So if we go to Insert, Scale Bar, we're using Alternating Scale Bar 2, and that is what you get as a default. You have divisions 6 miles in length. You have four subdivisions by default. Each one of those is 1.5 miles. 1.5 miles and 6 miles are not units you would normally use in field navigation. So let's go ahead and change those from their defaults. Just have to double click on the scale bar, and that will open up the scale bar properties. So, first of all, we want to change when resi resizing adjust division value to when resizing adjust width. Let's first see what that means. If we click and drag this box, we change the units. Now we're in divisions 8.5 miles in length also not a useful measure. Now we have divisions five and a half miles in length. So if we double click again, bringing us back to the properties, if we change when resizing to adjust width, that gives us the option to set the division value. And we want five miles, that's a nice round number, intuitive, easy to use, Apply. Now we have a scale bar, total 20 miles in length, divisions 5 miles. But we still have the issue where we've defaulted to 4 subdivisions, and that leaves us with a subdivision length of 1.25 miles. You can change that by changing the number of subdivisions to 5, obviously a multiple of 5. So now we have this bad floating label, but we do have 5 subdivisions. Each of those is one mile in length. So now we have to go to numbers and marks and set the d frequency of labels to let's first try divisions and first subdivisions. Apply. Now we have one, two, three, four, five miles, but that's a little dense. We can change this again to divisions only. Now we have 0, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 segments, therefore each one of those we can infer is 1 mile. Total length of 20. As a final step, let's change this label position from after bar to above center. Okay, and there is a pretty nice scale bar that is intuitive, legible, and in units that make sense for field navigation.